Well, hello. Hello, beautiful souls. So I've had several people request to do a makeup tutorial. Now, I don't know the proper techniques on how to do makeup, but I will show you the way that I do my makeup. So as you join, say hi, hello. It looks like you are the first one here. This is an unannounced <laughs> live and really not planned. I just know I had a few people ask about doing a makeup tutorial. So I thought, you know what, I'll just come on and chat with you and do my makeup and show you what I do and answer questions around makeup today as I do it. So um, yeah, so how are how are you doing today? How's it going? So I've already done my um, my skincare routine this morning. I did my little massage. Um, I didn't really get good sleep last night, as you could probably tell. I have like super tired eyes, and so this is kind of one of those like little little rollers. I keep it in the fridge so it's nice and cold, so it can kind of help <laughs> the poofiness around the eyes because. I am definitely tired today. I don't know. My dog just keeps like he's not sleeping well. So he um, keeps waking me up in the night. So then I'm not sleeping well either. So yeah. So happy Tuesday, everyone. Okay. So I just started um, the past few weeks putting on sunscreen. So um, and then so I do like my little face stuff, my skincare routine and then what I use instead of using a foundation, I use this like BB cream. Now, I know a lot of people will use like a foundation brush, which I do use, use occasionally, but not that often. Usually I just use my fingers, which is why I'm saying I am not using any of the proper makeup techniques that people use. I just am showing you <laughs> what I do. So, um... Or people use these, and again, I only use this every once in a while. I try to use it, and then I just don't like it as much, so then I just go back to using my fingers. So, okay, you're doing well. I have to come to work this morning. You're okay. I've just been working on you. Card game, very cool. Can you share about your card game, or is it, like, top secret right now? That's super cool. So, honestly, I just use this. Um, for my skin tone, I use, like, the bisque. Um, shade. And this is the unique brand. It's just, I like their BB cream um, the most. So then I just kind of squeeze some out, get a little bit like, I mean, it doesn't take that much at all. I don't know if you could see, just a really little tiny amount. And then I put it on my fingertip and then I just place it under my eyes like that. And then a little bit on my chin, I'm just kind of rub it around. And then I use my finger, my middle finger, to kind of slide it under my eye and then on my eyelid and under my eyebrow. So this is literally how I do <laughs> the BB cream on both sides. So how about you? Do you like BB cream or do you use foundation? So that is what I do for that. And then I'll take a little bit more because I really feel like a little goes a long way. Um. There we go, a little bit more, and then I'll put it around my nose and kind of, you know, spread it out a little bit. I got like a hair, there we go. So this is really <laughs> just how, how I do it, nice and easy and simple. I like this because it leaves just my skin feeling kind of glowy and soft, and that's it now. So that's how I would use my BB cream. Now, like on days like this where my eyes are like super tired and maybe I have a little bit more um, kind of like that color under my eyes. Let's see. You've only ever used foundation. And to be honest, I think about it choosing the matching color. Ah, so there are a lot of foundations now that do help you match your skin tone. Like you'll if you wash your face and then like don't have any makeup on and you go stand in like a well lit window and take a picture of your face. They do have foundations that will match your skin for you now. So they cost a little bit more. Or you could go and get your makeup professionally done and find the right foundation for you. So it's definitely. Okay, so this is like a BB cream. Or no, sorry. This is um, a concealer. And it's Bye Bye Under Eye. 
So this is what I use. And like, it's so full. I've had this forever. I literally just use a little teeny, like, oh, see, that's already way too much. So way too much came off of it for me. So I just use like a little tiny bit like that. And then I'll just put that a little bit under my eye and in the corner to kind of cover up a little bit of that darkness, that like dark bluish purple colors. Um, again, this is not <laughs> like no makeup professional would do their makeup like this, but this is what I do. So, and I literally just started learning about concealer a little bit ago too. Oh, and if like I'm having allergies, I'll, again, I'll grab like a little bit more and I'll dab it like around the outside of my nose if it's really red because from blowing my nose so much. <laughs> so <laughs> nice and personal. Or if you have like a little bit of like a blemish, you could put a little bit like right on there. So I've never done makeup live before or recorded. So this is a new experience for me. Okay. So now... This is like my favorite, um, like blush, but I also like to use it for eyeshadow. So, okay. Yeah. So there's also, you can get, um, color correctors. I don't really know how to use them. So you'd have to ask or watch some YouTube videos, but you can do color correctors to help with like redness around your nose. Like if you have like if you find that the concealer isn't working, there are color correctors. They're like yellow, orange, reddish colors, I think. And so you can use those under your eyes, stuff like that. Um, okay, so these are the colors. This is the color that I really like to use, which I believe is rosewood. So rosewood is the color that I really like. And so I just use like a little brush. It's probably not an actual blush brush, but I'll just put a little bit on my brush and then I just literally run it up my cheeks like that. So, um, and then if I want to do, yeah, let's see if I'm doing that in the right spot. There we go. Yeah, and it's a nice kind of shimmery color. And then what I'll do is get a smaller brush like this, and I'll get a little bit more of the makeup, and then I'll just put it on my eyelids. So I'm going to show you another way that I do um, a colors too, just in case if I use two colors. So... Yeah, so that's what I just do. That's literally how I do my eyelids most of the time and my cheeks. But let's say for some reason I'm feeling a little bit adventurous that day and I want to use um, some color. So let's see. Maybe I'll take a little bit of a white color and put it here. I like light shades, obviously. For me, if you see any of my videos, they're all light. I, I can't pull off dark makeup um, or I don't know how to apply it in a way that I can. So, and then let's say I wanted to add like a darker color. So my friend uh, who knows a little bit more about makeup and skincare. So this is like a blending brush. So she gave me this. And so you just take a little tiny bit of the other color and you like put it here and you just kind of go in a circle and blend it a little bit. This is how I do it. And so that way it's a little bit more of a color right there. I'm sure you can see the difference. And so that's how I blend it on. So do this side just so they match. Let's see, what's that look like? Okay, yeah, not too bad. All right, and that is from a palette called Nude and Naughty from Luminous Air. So my friend gave me this. This is probably technically way too old and I shouldn't be using it anymore, but I only use a couple colors out of there. So, okay. And I literally have like all of these different kinds of brushes, but I don't really know how to use all of them. So <laughs> I just have that. Okay. So now for my eyebrows. Yes. Yeah, simple yet effective. Eyeshadow is one area I can actually do decently. Also nice. Oh, good. Good. That's awesome. 
Okay, so now for eyebrows. I barely have any eyebrows. They're so light. Like, I don't pluck my eyebrows. I don't do anything with my eyebrows because I wouldn't have any eyebrows. Really, if I did, so... Um, but I had a friend who she used to work at Mac and when I was living in Portland, we would take turn taking, uh, pictures with each other. And she one day was like, can I do your eyebrows? And I was like, go for it. And so for the past year I've been using, um, like an eyebrow pencil. So this is, um, by Elf. It is instant lift brow pencil. It's like the very light shade. If you can see, um, Oh, it's blonde. That's the color that I use. And then I literally just kind of take it and just brush it up a little bit. This is literally the worst tutorial for eyebrows. I just follow kind of my hairline and I don't make them too dark because I don't know. I mean, I should definitely figure out, but see, you could already see kind of the difference between the two. And then I just take the end and I brush them out a little bit which that one looks like it got a little too thick at the end, but yeah. So I am definitely not your eyebrow queen. You're going to have to find somebody else to really show you how to do eyebrows. And I'm trying to do this off the webcam, which is a little bit tricky. So just very simple to just darken them up a little bit so that you could see that I actually do have eyebrows. So sounds a little... <laughs> they look a little silly today doing it this way, to be honest, but okay. But that's basically what I do for the eyebrows, but I would definitely recommend finding someone who knows how to do eyebrows because there's so many ways, like where they line up and where they're supposed to end and doing the point and doing all of these different things. And there is actually, I saw on TikTok where you can buy like, it's um, like a stencil, I guess, and you would put it over your eyebrow and then you stencil it in. So you can do that as well. Okay, so now the eyeliner. Okay, so I like to use, I'll show you how I do the silver one because I like doing that one as well sometimes. Okay, so this one, I usually try to get all my makeup um, that's vegan and cruelty free, but sometimes I just grab what's available. So this is a Sephora brand, but it's like a sparkly silver. You can see that, but I do the my black first. So let me see. Did I bring it with me? I might have. Did I leave it in the bathroom? I could have. So I've also been buying like different color eyeliners to just kind of play with, to have fun with, because I'm just trying to play around with makeup to learn, learn a little bit more about it. So I have like all these fun um, like different colors to use to kind of play around with, but I haven't been playing around with them that much to feel confident how to show you. Anyway, I do use like a little just pencil, which obviously I use this one a lot. It's almost out. And I do use this for my under eye and, oh, this is kind of hard to do right here. Let me see. Let me see. I've got a little mirror right here. Let me grab this. Okay. So I have like a little mirror. Okay, so how I do my eyeliner, let's see. I literally just put it, it's kind of awkward. Like on the waterline, I know some people do not like doing this, but I just do that. So you can already see the difference, but if I want it to be more of a, awake look I do have like this really light colored eyeliner so it's a white eyeliner and I'll just show you the difference in this one if you put under your eye it just gives you more of that like subtle awake look <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. Oh, the cat eye. I cannot pull off a cat eye for the life of me. I just cannot do it. I don't know. But I always like black eyeliner underneath. I tried to do the cat eye and I can't. I don't know. I cannot figure it out. 
So I just don't ever do the cat eye because it is not my, not my jam. Okay, but I'm trying to find the one I use and ah, here it is. Oh, this is the brand that will also match your foundation. I tried it. Um, so this, they sent me an eyeliner with the foundation they sent. And so it's like a liquid eyeliner. And I just kind of start at the little bit beyond the middle of my eye. And just kind of glide it till the end. And because I don't do a cat eye, I stop at the end. So just like that. And I try to get it as close to my lashes as possible. So it looks more kind of like um, it's part of my eyelashes. If I don't have it, then it might look like I'm wearing fake eyelashes. And this side, I start on the other. And this is running low. So usually I only have to do it once, but this is running low. So I'll have to go over it a couple times. So that's how I do the eyeliner. Now, if I'm going to add the silver eyeliner to it, then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go to the tip out here. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to have it meet where I stop the black eyeliner. Well, hopefully this is helpful a little bit. Literally, this is the very first time I'm ever doing like a makeup tutorial or how I do my makeup. So, okay. What next? Mascara. So I like to use, oh, where's my other one? I forget it. Nope, there it is. So I have like all my eyeliners in like a little fun little cup. So I also bought, which I'll show you, um, all these little fun, they're like little stamps, but the other end is also like a liquid eyeliner. Um, okay. So I like to use two, depending on kind of the look I'm going for, um, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced is my absolute favorite mascara ever. Love it. It runs between $25 to $29, depending on if you get it off of Amazon or at a store. And then I decided to try um, Gwen Stefani made her own mascara. And so I decided to try that. And I like it. Sometimes it's kind of fun to combine them. But I always like to start with my base with the Better Than Sex. And Better Than Sex um, Too Faced mascara also has um, waterproof. So now again, I just go to the base of my eyelashes and come up. I don't curl my eyelashes. Um, cause I feel like my eyelashes already go up quite a bit. So I don't curl them, but I know a lot of people curl them. So I don't know if you curl them before you put on the mascara or after, but yeah, so then I just kind of brush it up. So I don't really know what I'm doing. You're just going to have to see what I'm doing. And then I guess I blink a lot while I put on my mascara. And um, <laughs> yeah. And then I do my other side. So I guess I kind of shimmy it a little bit too. I like to try to get all the eyelashes. And this is really great. Most people think even with just this mascara, um, with a couple coat or coats, people can think that I have like fake eyelashes on because it's so great. Literally my favorite mascara. Okay, I might need to use my little mirror here. Okay, yeah, so then I also go under. I know a lot of people don't put mascara on their under lashes, but I do just a little bit, nothing, nothing wild. And then I try to get the corners. Your little eyelashes. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. So I'll probably put on like another coat in a second. <laughs> yeah, I probably should just go buy a new <laughs> eyeliner or pencil. Because <laughs> that one's so little. Okay, I redip. From my second coat. Yeah, I just do a lot of blinking while I put it on. So if you have any questions or any suggestions or, you know, 
like a technique that works really well, feel free to share in the comments. Okay. So I know I try to follow and learn more about makeup now just because I think it's fun to kind of play with. Okay. So then I'll do, hello, Michael, how are Jennifer? How are you? So good to see you. Okay. So now I'm going to do another coat of the Gwen Stefani. So this is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Just so you can see the difference. This kind of looks like it fans it out a little bit more. But then when I use, um, oh, see, so even look at the different in the brush, right? The brush is different. So this one, I just kind of spreads it out a little bit. Okay. So. Ooh, okay. So then this is what it looks like with both. One coat of this. Let me see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So there's that. Okay, now so for lips. I don't lip line. I know you're supposed to. I don't really know how to lip line. <laughs> so I don't use lipstick. So I use lip gloss and uh, chapstick. Okay, let's see. Aw, uh, thank you. Okay, hello, hello. Thanks for joining. Okay, so if I do a color, I'll do like a little bit. So this is also the Gwen Stefani. Um, lip gloss. This one is dolled up. And so see it's pink. It's like a light pink color. It smells really good. And then I just put it on. But again, I should probably use lip liner, but I don't. So and then if I want to kind of tone down the color or make it a little shinier, I use this one Mineral Fusion which is a Hydro Shine lip gloss. And so see, it's a little bit, it's clear, but you can see it has color because I used it on top. So I just put it on the bottom middle. There we go. And that, my sweet friends, is how I do my makeup. <laughs> so that would be my makeup look. Any questions? Any comments? If you're going to say anything mean, I don't need to hear it. <laughs> but if you have any questions, then I will be happy to answer them for you all. Okay. Yes. <sighs> so I think I would normally put on a little bit more under eyeliner. But uh, my week has been really good. How has your week been? What have you been up to? I've been uh, just enjoying, enjoying life. Okay, awesome. And how's it going? How are you feeling with starting it? Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Maybe someday I'll try to do the cat, the cat eye. But anytime I try doing the cat eye, it just never works for me. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you really quick. Um, these little stamps. So there's a moon, a little moon stamp. And here, I'll just stamp it on my hand so you can see. So see, it looks like a little moon. Um, and then there's a little heart. This is the red one though. So I like the red one. So then I, sometimes I'll just pop a little red heart on. See, looks kind of, kind of nice right there. Or there's like, um, Oh, I also have it in black. Got it in red and black. So that's a black one. Derp. See? A little fun. Little eyeliners. Oh, see, then the colored moon, which is like a blue. So that's pretty. And then a flower. So the little black flower. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Yeah, they're super fun. There's a star. A little purple. It's a purple star. Hello. Another little black star. I mean, they're so fun, especially <laughs> just to add like a little character, a little fun. And this is going to be like a pink flower. So I'll just put that. Let's see. Right there. I usually only do one or the other, but just so you can kind of see what that looks like. So I use the pink or the, the heart. And they wipe off really easily as well. So, yay! So that is my makeup tutorial. <laughs> Short, sweet. I think also um, by not... Oh, oh, I did want to show you. If I do want to contour a little bit, I will use like my little brush and I'll use this little bit darker shade and I'll just put a little bit there and I'll put it right under where I put my blush. And then I'll just kind of, this is where I can kind of use that little blender brush or um, this, this brush just to kind of, so I don't know if you could see a difference between the two, if I do that or not do that. Oh, I've watched Jeffree Star Makeup before. I do. And I love how much Jeffree Star loves his dogs. So I don't know if you could see a difference between those. I also like, is it um, Charles? I believe it's Charles. I don't know. Um, yeah, just right underneath. And then, yeah, just blend it back. And I also saw Jennifer Lopez do this in one of her <laughs> one of her videos. So if you're like um, bronzer or whatever, you could take a little bit on your finger, just a little tiny bit, and then just run it down the edge of your nose, like the outside edges. So I don't know. That's that. Oh, the brushes from, well, my friend did give me some of the brushes. Otherwise I just get them from like Target, go to the brush section and just look at Target because they have a lot of different brushes. James Charles, yes, yes. I really enjoy watching, um, but James Charles, I don't know that they give how they get the look. They just have really cool looks. So, um, yes, but I like to watch tutorials. There's quite a few people and there's a, it's really cool on TikTok. I found people who are like, Oh, how to do your makeup if you have more, if you're more mature versus when you're 20. Because when you're 20, you can just like do your makeup way different than when you're 40. So um, I've been watching the people who give tutorials if you're 40 and older on how to do your makeup, like how to do, um, like instead of doing like the huge triangle that you would do if you're 20, you just do a dab here and a dab here, you know, and kind of blend that way versus, um, so I think there is some truth to your age. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like if you're 60, there's probably another way you would do makeup, right? So it's very, um, but I just like simple and light. I don't like a lot. Like I've never actually used full coverage foundation. I feel like it would be really, um, I've used medium coverage and it just feels like way too much for me. But the people, that's probably because I also don't know how to use it. I don't know how to apply it correctly, all of that. So I just keep it short and sweet. But let me show you how fun these eyeliners are while I have them. So they're just like, it's literally like a liquid. And like, look how fun that is. So I think this could be really fun. I'm going to figure out how to do some stuff with it. Uh, sometimes I've been putting it over like the eyeliner and then a little tiny bit under. 
And that's been kind of fun. Like this light purple color. So that's pretty neat. Um, then this is a blue. Who doesn't love some pretty blue, right? It's like kind of sparkly. Very nice. And then I have a pink one, of course, right? And so, do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. I'll just do it like that. Okay, there we go. Doesn't look as pink on here, but it, I promise you it is actually a pretty pink color. Okay. Well, there we have it. And once it dries, it's kind of hard to get off. So it just sticks there, but it will wash off with like a makeup washer offer or soap. <sighs> yes. So what else? What else does everyone have planned for April? Anything exciting for April? And Jennifer, are you going to join the Discord or not? Because I've added you, but I haven't seen you show up. And if you're not going to, that's 100% okay. But I just want to touch base if there's anything that is making it blocking you to be able to join. Um, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, and then I also have, um, well, Discord's, the chat's always ongoing. The women in there are just always chatting away. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Yeah, so I think even, yeah. Yeah, there's like chats going all the time. So you could just join in and join the chat and you'll, someone will be chatting with you, if not immediately, shortly. And then we have a scheduled chat the second Monday of the month at 5 p.m. Arizona time. But we really don't need the scheduled anymore because people are just chatting in there every single day. So, yeah, that's okay. Don't always have to have something planned during the month. I've noticed that it's been so rainy here. I've had um, more allergies than normal. Like, my eyes are itching so badly. Like I went on my walk this morning and my eyes were just watering like tears and I don't usually have allergies. So I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah. So, hmm. well, I feel like I came on to do what I wanted to do. And I guess it's been, a, it's like a short live. It's 33 minutes, but, um, I was going to make another affirmation video this month. I wanted to, but I wasn't sure what theme we're thinking. Do Are we thinking more uh, abundance? Maybe I can make a poll really quick. So let's see. Abundance. Self-worth. Um, kind of health wise, I guess. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so there, I just created a poll for the next affirmation. So, abundance, self worth, and love, health wise. So, let's see. Ah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, some changes for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So, so far, self-worth and self-love is in the lead. Oh, abundance. Yeah. I think I do have one on abundance, but it's not that listened to that much. But, or maybe I could do a combo. I should have put that in as a, as a option, a combo one.
Okay, I don't know how to close it. Maybe it's smaller. Okay, there we go. Yes. So, um, I know I have so many requests. I'm trying to just get through the requested videos right now, but I literally have probably two years worth of requested videos. <laughs> so, but I am trying to get to them. So I just always like to remind you that if you've requested a video and I haven't gotten to it yet, don't worry. As if it's one that I feel like I'm can make, then it's just on my list and I just, it's like there and I'll get to it eventually. So yes. Well, I think, I think that'll be, yeah, I know there's so many requests, so many requests. And so I do try to get to them. I kind of go by, I look at the list and like whichever one calls to me that day is the one I make. Cause it's like whichever one I feel like led to do, or I feel creative around that day. And so, um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot. <laughs> so yeah, but it's fun. It just, it's always keeping my mind thinking create creatively, like, Oh, what should I do? And like, that's why I figured I would do this live because somebody was a couple people have asked about doing a makeup tutorial and I was like, oh, I don't really know how to make a video of that being super interesting, like fun to watch over and over. So I was like, oh, I'll just do a live and just chat with you while I do the makeup because that was a requested one. So I know. And then I have um, I've done the ASMR paper and then I'll get more requests on doing the ASMR like paper ripping. And I'm always surprised because I'm like, oh, make another one. So, OK with like different kinds of paper and different speeds of ripping. So it just is always kind of fun to hear the requests that people have because they surprise me sometimes. So I saw somebody um, uh, on TikTok with a really fun little abundance mantra. So I'll share it with you really quick. Um, I wrote it down. I can't remember her name. I think it's in here. Let's see. Okay. The longer I exist, the more my money multiplies. I wake up money. I go to sleep money. I do nothing money. I attract money unintentionally and intentionally all the time. Let me see. I bet I have it saved and I can find it find out the the author of it but I feel like that's such a good one so let's see I know I sent it to a friend let me roll up scroll up and find that person ah here we go she is the moon that's whose mantra that is she is the moon on tiktok so very cool well, well, my sweet friends, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and go and do some of the other things that are on my to-do list today. I just wanted to show up and say hi and let you know I'm thinking of you and I appreciate you and thank you for being here with me. And I hope that this was helpful for you. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Have a great day as well. And I will talk. Oh, yay. Hi, Carly. Hi and bye. Adios. Adios, amiga. Okay, thank you. Have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.